What do you think about drones made in India by Indian startups in comparison with, let's say, Apple iPhone 15, which are currently made in India? Any guesses? I hate to break it to you, iPhone 15 is much more closer to being called made in India than most of the existing drones in the Indian market, which are currently being called made in India. In this video, we are going to see what the current scenario in the Indian drone market is, why India won't be a global drone hub, and if India should, how do we mitigate that? So to begin with, let's start with drone policies. Prior to 2022, companies used to import the entire drone and white labeled it by slapping a sticker of their company logo and called it made in India and sold it to various entities and organizations. Once the government placed a ban on import of drones in 2022, these companies started to import drone components and started to assemble it here locally with assembling with screws, nuts and bolts and still called it made in India drones and started to sell again. For years in the drone hobby or RC community, people have been building these type of drones like buying parts, soldering, assembling with nuts and bolts, so on. If you have seen my other video where I built the entire drone and tested whether it would fly or not, you can check that out here if you want. We in the RC hobby community don't call that manufactured, we call that assembled. That stage of drone is what these companies have been selling for years. I could have just stopped at that stage and taken that prototype to investors and told them, hey, I made this drone, I need to raise funds to produce multiple of these. If you think I'm joking, you can actually check this drone company who pitched in Shark Tank. I'm not naming the company, you can check that out. They literally imported Chinese drones and said it's made in India. Even the title still says Indian made drone. I'm not joking. Okay, not to get into a political debate here, regardless of who the political party is, I truly support Make in India initiative, period. Not just for India, I would say to every other nation out there to be self-reliant. Many countries are struggling to manufacture because they never had the capability to do it in the first place. Make in India initiative is a great program, but has been abused a lot. It has failed clearly to differentiate between what has been assembled in India and what is truly manufactured in India. You have heard me say drone components. That's where the problem lies with the policy. Underline the term component. The definition of component is where the problem lies in the whole policy. A component is a distinct part of a larger system, right? But is that distinct enough in this terminology? These components, what they were referring to were like autopilots, flight controller systems, sensor systems, batteries, drone frames, so on. They are all like modules, right? A subsystem of a drone, like parts of a drone, different parts of a drone, what we have actually seen in our previous videos. An analogy here I would like to provide is computers. Everyone has used computers in some form or other, like could be desktop PCs, laptops, or anything. If you consider devices like keyboards, mouse, they are all like peripherals to a computer. If you look into a mouse, let's say, you will see buttons for clicking, scroll wheel. If it is a Bluetooth mouse, you will also see a board with Bluetooth chip, battery, battery holder, and so on. These are the components and the mouse itself is a device or part of a computer, right? It's a module or subsystem. So these drone companies, they were bringing these parts or modules from outside by calling it drone component and putting it together was called a manufacturing process and the drones as made in India. Bonkers, right? Well, on the other hand, we have companies who are designing and manufacturing the modules in India. It could include like autopilot, motors, sensor boards, battery management system, and the firmware development which goes in the background of these products as well. Let's say, for example, a startup A purchases all the actual components like ICs, processors, controllers, resistors, capacitors, fabricates the PCB and assembles it locally, 
And then we have Startup B who is like directly procuring these modules from outside. You might expect Startup A who is doing all the hard work to be actually incentivized with a lot of schemes in terms of funding and in you know the ease of process in procuring the components, right? What if I told you Startup B gets to do that? Startup B who is like importing these modules as parts of drones they have the opportunity to get it with zero custom duty as a company but startup a who is like the true manufacturers they are paying the hefty duty and the taxes on these chip components like capacitors resistors microcontrollers and so on every component which goes into the board is being taxed this is one of the reasons i don't see india becoming a global drone hub anytime soon without incentivizing these module manufacturers who are actually the true manufacturers of drone components. If we are not manufacturing these modules in India, then we are not truly really making any progress. This will be a huge barrier in developing the necessary hardware technology in an emergency situation. We will be lagging behind other countries. The current scenario is that after the ban on drone components, these drone startups are hastily looking for ways to buy these drone components locally. They are looking for exact replacement. We have alternatives in the market, but not an exact replacement as of now. It's disappointing to say that they will find other ways of importing than spending R&D. If you are not focused on developing everything from scratch since day zero, not even day one, you know, the day when you get the idea, oh, I have an idea to start a drone startup. That's when you need to think, how do I design and manufacture it locally? If not, we will always fool ourselves that we know how to build cutting edge technology, but truly we won't. Apart from these issues, we also have a big problem in terms of procuring certain chipsets. They are not available for startups or even like smaller companies or including like major players in the drone market in India. Their minimum order quantity MOQ of purchase is in lakhs if not in millions which no company would be able to procure or even access them quite easily. What can be done to make India a global drone hub? Let's just not talk about or rant the problems alone. Let's also see how we can solve it. Like what are the steps we need to take in order to be a global drone hub. First, incentivize the local manufacturers who are designing and developing the modules from scratch. The PLI schemes should go to these startups who have the capability to develop prototypes and ensure the funds are utilized properly for developing of these prototypes alone. Also make sure there is no hindrance in terms of component procurement like you know ICs, resistors, capacitors, every electronic components. No taxes, no custom clearance, no shipping charges if possible for these startups. If possible, we should have warehouse in India to locally store components so the companies can purchase as quickly as possible to reduce the lead times. That is the major hurdle in the prototyping stage. India should not just focus on importing alone but also exporting. Make the whole process of exporting goods easier. Have an easy clearance process so the goods are cleared and shipped to the customer on time. India should also sign up with major chip manufacturers to access those chip under them for prototyping and development stage. Hopefully, we make necessary changes in the policies before it's too late for Indian drone industry to catch up to the global level and make its mark. In the end, I wanted to say I didn't want to lash out on any other companies. If you felt that I have done it, I apologize sincerely. I just wanted to bring this information before you for you to make the decision. Let's take this in a positive way and work towards making India a global drone hub. With that being said, as always, thanks for watching. See you in the next video.